These are the complications of gestational diabetes in the infant. In the first trimester, if mom has hyperglycemia, it can cause congenital heart disease in the infant, as well as neural tube defects, small left colon syndrome, and spontaneous abortion. You get different complications in the second and third trimester. Maternal hyperglycemia can cause fetal hyperglycemia and fetal hyperinsulinemia. The result of this is as follows. Baby will have increased metabolic demand, which can lead to fetal hypoxemia, lead to increased erythropoiesis in the fetus, and polycythemia in the fetus. Baby can also get organomegaly, and you can have neonatal hypoglycemia after baby is born. This is because if baby has a lot of glucose and a lot of insulin before birth, after birth, they're going to lose that high supply of glucose, and they'll still have that high insulin, so that can cause a hypoglycemic picture in the neonatal period. Baby can become macrosomic, so big baby, which can lead to shoulder dystocia. Downstream effects of this include clavicle fracture, brachial, oh, sorry, brachial plexopathy, perinatal asphyxia. Lastly, baby can have decreased surfactant production, which can lead to decreased lung maturity and neonatal respiratory distress.